everyone Kevin Walters here you're watching Kevin's Auto Channel and today I want to talk about owning my 2019 Chevrolet Silverado RST Z71 5.3 liter V8 truck for one year One year later and 12,000 miles, what are my thoughts on my 2019 Silverado? Well, overall, for the most part, I'm happy with this truck. This is a great truck, great riding truck. Um, done a few things to it this past year, tinted the windows. Um, put my custom 50 cal bullet antenna on uh, changed out the exhaust well at least the muffler and um, I put uh, the window deflectors on it and installed a bed cover made by Gator and I've come to the conclusion that I hate that thing it's one of those uh, velcro uh, it's got the rails with the velcro on it then you put the uh, leather cover over it and it velcros down and then snaps shut but that thing is so aggravating um, uh, the rail on the left side does not want to stay up and you have to beat it back into submission and if you're doing it one handed then half the time it will fall off um, it's just it's just a headache if you're going to get a cover for your bed get a good quality um, roll up or like the aluminum roll-up ones or the folding ones or, or something this one that I got I got it off of Amazon and it was cheap it was like 200 bucks and well like I always say you get what you pay for so I got what I paid for um, but yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily recommend it I've seen another YouTuber who has one, and he likes his, but even even the, the water sealing part of it, it still gets uh, water in the bed, so it's not very waterproof. Um, so, yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not pleased with that. But other than that, um, overall, like I said, I like my truck. 12,000 miles later so got a pretty good feel for the truck now uh, like I've said in previous video uh, there's two things that I do not like about this truck uh, the first being the uh, cylinder deactivation that you cannot get away from and from the factory you know there's no button to turn it off like there is 
the auto start stop for the engine um, but mostly remedied that with the um, um, range technology AFM DFM disabler so I can live with that now um, the second thing is more of a concern and more something to worry about and that is uh, the rear end clunking and making violent um, noises sometimes when you go from reverse to drive or even downshifting it, it when I first got the truck when it would downshift back to first when you were when you were coming to a stop periodically it would just clunk into first and in the rear end would you know just clunk hard so I've had problems ever since I bought the truck with my rear end like I said it's not with just my truck my dad has a 2019 Silverado 2500 uh, Duramax and his does the same exact thing so it's a GM problem not a my truck problem so you know those two things are the two things that I don't like about my truck everything else I like you know for it to be a mid-level trim uh, the RST it's got everything that I could ever want in a truck it's got Bluetooth it's got Apple CarPlay it's got Android Auto um, it's got heated seats it's got leather it's uh, it's got USB and power outlets galore in it um, there's ventilation in the back for the passengers uh, there's cup holders all over the truck uh, it's got good ample storage in it it's comfortable to drive you don't get tired when you drive it long distances now there, there is one thing that I have noticed and I don't know if this is a me thing or what but the dead pedal in this truck is angled in a way to where it really makes my ankle hurt if I drive in this truck for more than an hour at a time my ankle starts getting very uncomfortable and restless and hurting and um, so that that is one thing you know it either needs to be more vertical or it just doesn't need to be there at all so that is because it's at an angle and it's and the angle is such that it really makes my ankle start hurting after a while of driving so I mean my list of complaints for the truck are short you know minus that one serious problem with the rear end that I'm concerned about um, so I mean overall would I recommend this truck yeah yeah I would recommend this truck um, it's a great truck I can imagine the, the high country and the LTZ is even nicer than this one. So um, I'm sure that the experience in those are even better. But yeah, this truck is great. Some things that I really like about this truck is that it came standard. Well, mine at least was options I'm not sure if it's standard or not well you know what it is an option it's the bed uh, lighting and protection package that came on this truck I really like that um, the LED lights in the back and the spray in bed liner from the factory is great it's very thick it's about a quarter of an inch thick um, so it's it's got ample protection back there I can throw stuff in the bed I can load pallets in the back and not even have to worry about oh no is my bed gonna be scratched up is it gonna be messed up no 
just hose it out and you're good to go. Um, so I love the, the lighting and bed protection package from GM. It's a great option to have. Great quality also. Um, I love my sliding glass window in the back. That's power. Um, switch up here in the upper console. Um, it's very, very nice. Uh, let's, when you're wanting to ride around and have your windows down, it's nice to open that back window as well and you get full airflow through the truck um, without a bunch of wind being forced into your face so that helps with the airflow so I really enjoy that I love my leather seats um, now that I've had a vehicle with leather in it I, it's going to be it would be hard to go back to a vehicle with cloth in it I really like this leather. Soft. Um, it's not sticky. Doesn't. And down here in the south, in South Carolina, you know, we can have some pretty hot, sticky, muggy days. But the uh, the leather doesn't really stick to you. Now, if you're hot and sweaty, it'll stick to you a little bit. But it's not real, real bad. So I really like that. Um, now, in the wintertime... I love my heated steering wheel. Um, it feels great um, because you know, cold winter morning, your steering wheel can feel like a block of ice when you if you get in it early. So it's nice to, as soon as you start the truck up, turn your heated steering wheel on and give it a minute. It's nice and warm, and you don't freeze your hands off. So I'm, I love that. Um, I love just getting in this truck and just going for a drive. <laughs> That's usually when I make my videos, if you noticed. I love making videos when I'm just riding around. That's what I like doing. Uh, this truck is very comfortable. Um, this truck, as far as gas mileage goes, this truck loves open roads. Um, now, when I changed out my muffler... I noticed a, about a two mile per gallon drop across the board in my gas mileage. Um, so I thought I thought that was a little odd that a, just a muffler could have that much um, impact on your MPG. Uh, so that was a little odd, but it's been consistent across the board. From what I got before I changed out my muffler to what I get now is a consistent two mile per gallon drop usually um, from stock. So that's a downfall, but hearing that nice V8 rumble makes up for it for me. But like I said, this truck loves open roads, country roads where there's no red lights. You can just cruise. Um, right now I just filled up and I've been driving on country roads and I'm getting 19.8 miles per gallon and that's very good now probably if I before before I changed out my muffler I'd probably be getting about 21 22 right now but I'm getting. I'm about to hit 20. It went back up to 19.9, and I've been driving for about 27 miles. So this truck loves open roads, loves backcountry roads, loves highway. Um, that's when it gets its best MPG. Now, when I do a lot of city driving, I get about 14, 15 miles per gallon. So. There's a um, there's a big difference between highway and city driving in this truck, and usually that's that's uh, typical with any vehicle. Um, but just giving you some real world uh, MPG uh, facts for this 2019 Silverado, 
and like I said before before I changed out my muffler it, it was a little bit better about two miles per gallon better across the board but it is what it is I'd rather have the V8 rumble than the quiet dull sound another thing I like about this truck is the um, in the driver mirror they added the um, the little spot mirror that helps with your blind spot uh, helps you when you're backing up helps you you know when you get near a curve going around a corner or something helps you notice if you're going to hit it or not so that's nice to have and speaking of backing up I love the backup camera in this truck um, the nice big screen really um, really adds to the backup camera and you know you've got your guidelines that move when you turn the steering wheel so you know exactly where you're going when you're backing up you can back into a parking spot like nobody's business with this backup camera and um, and backing up to a trailer and all it's great wonderful backup camera if you're a 2019 2020 Chevrolet Silverado owner comment down below how do you like your truck what are your favorite things what do you not like about your truck um, are you having the same problem with your rear end like I am so drop a comment down below let me know what's going on with you and i will see you in the next video this is kevin walters you've been watching kevin's auto channel and i hope you have a great rest of the day now do not forget about our 1000 subscriber giveaway you may say well what is the 1000 subscriber giveaway well i have set a goal on this channel to reach a thousand subscribers as quickly as I can. To motivate you to hit that subscribe button down below, I am giving away this 159 piece Craftsman Mechanics tool set valued at almost $200. Now, the set that you are seeing here is my personal set. It is a great set of tools. If you are just getting started on project cars tinkering around in your garage on the weekends this is the perfect tool set for you you have allen wrenches you have the uh multi-head screwdriver you have the wrenches metric standard sockets you have three eighths half inch and quarter inch drivers with the extenders with them you can change your spark plugs. You can tune up your own car with this set. You can modify your car with this tool set. You can use this tool set around the house if you need to. Whatever you need it for, this is a Craftsman tool set. It has a lifetime warranty. And you could be the lucky winner of this tool set if you hit the subscribe button down below. Now, I know what you're saying, or you may be thinking, Kevin, I subscribed before you announced this giveaway. You're fine. You're, a, you're grandfathered in. Um, anybody who is a subscriber, up to 1,000 subscribers, will be entered for a chance to win this 159-piece Craftsman tool set. So, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below because you could be the lucky winner.